Hey everyone, welcome to the Wet Sundays. 2021 was proving to be another weird year. Originally, we had planned to take delivery of Ruby Rose 2, our C1 1370 this year, but the build had been delayed due to COVID. And since we had already sold Ruby Rose last year, we've been left without a boat. After sailing a Seawind 1260 around the New South Wales coast earlier in the year and absolutely loving it, we decided to travel further north to the Whitsundays in Queensland and charter another Seawind 1260. So over the next couple of months, we'll be bringing you our sailing adventures in Queensland, which really put ourselves and the boat to the test. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's get on with our first day on board in the Whitsundays. Very, very breezy day for our first sail in the Whitsundays. I'm pretty excited. I'm also excited to see how this new microphone manages the wind because I think that we all know sometimes the audio on our channel is not the best because there's often some wind noise. So I'm interested. Let me know how that sounds audio wise. Anyway, as you can see behind me is an absolutely stunning day. Um, so excited to get out on the water. We've literally just picked this boat up. We are going to Hayman Island today. Hayman Island is an island in the Witch Sundays. Very, very beautiful. Um, it's like a private resort kind of place. And uh, yeah, there's somewhere to anchor. A really lovely reef, I believe, to check out. And uh, apparently some really sweet sunset views as well. So nice breezy first sail on the water here in the Whit Sundays. I'm excited to see what this boat can do. I'm pumped! Let's go! I Excited? Yeah, the wet Sundays, the tropics. Waiting for this for a while, haven't you? <laughs> uh, honestly, the feeling of just it being like 26, 27 degrees and the humidity. This is, to me, it's kind of the Caribbean meets Australia, which is probably the fusion of two of the greatest things on, on the planet. The planet. <laughs> on the planet. So we have um, a lot of time to sail around these waters show you all the beauty and majesty of the Whitsundays and surrounding areas. So enjoy this, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Shall we get going? Let's get going. Wow, that is gusting. That must be gusting at least 20 knots. Main is up. I think we're gonna to have to get rid of that flag. Just gonna drop this uh, mooring line and then we can get going to Hayman Island. So we just put the first reef in, yeah? Yeah, I wish we had a, uh, well, we'd have to just... A wind gauge and a number of stuff. So we've got a hawk. Yeah, Look I at don't the... know how soon it is, although we can probably make a guess. 17 knots. All right, shall I drop the mooring line? Yeah. You have to come with me because I don't have a tripod on at the minute. Here we go. Yep. All right. We off. We're off. Off we go. Gusty. It's definitely gusting over 20, I reckon. I don't think I've got a second reef in the moment. We have to be relying on our tail towers a lot. 
Well, that was a frantic couple of minutes. Whew. That flag's coming down. It's not driving me mad. I know. We don't have an anemometer, so I can't tell you how strong the wind is, but I reckon it's at least 22, 23 knots, Nick. The wind at the moment is high teens, gusting low 20s. The issue is that you've got topographical features like that head, and we're going around it, so you're gonna get the gust that uh, give you another five knots. If you look at the chart, this is what the issue is, right? The prevailing wind comes from south southeast, right? So the wind will come funneling up there. It will wrap around this head, like, I think also, it, it comes down the mountains. Yeah, so it will wrap around there and you'll get a wind acceleration around there. So we put in a uh, second reef into the main and we also just filled the jib away because um, we felt that the boat was being overpowered a little bit and uh, yeah that was a bit of a frantic couple of minutes. With a boat you're not familiar with, a little bit of a frantic activity. But we got there in the end. I'd still say it was simpler than doing it on Ruby Rose as well. Yeah I agree. But it didn't take that long actually. All I would say to you is, I go. I know that from our point of view, this is a, a Seawind 1260, and we're moving towards a 1370. But I think that you know, the more time we spend on this boat, the more we kind of think, actually, we want this. You know, we're going to want this from our boat. And for instance, not having a second electric winch on yeah. starboard. Yeah. We have got. We're getting a second electric winch. Our yeah. both our winches are electric. Yeah. You have to have that winch. Yeah. But. I can understand why because we have seen many times before boats have their um, in some cases mains ripped in half by uh, crew overzealous. overzealous crew cranking the winch I always ask crew to listen for the noise of the winch to hear if it's overstraining but there's a lot of wind noise at the moment yeah. so um, you know you can't always hear it that fluttering. I'll tell you what I can hear. That fluttering. Um, there's a flag flying on the topping lift. Yeah. That's coming off as soon as we tie up. It's just that's not. I, I sail with you know you sail with your ears as well, don't you? Yeah. Bleeding hey. Very very gusty. Ooh ah. Uh. I've taken the clutch. Okay. Because I need to dump it. Alright. Wow. My sunglasses are getting blown off my head. You alright? I'd say that's gusting at least, I don't know, I reckon that must be close to 30. I think the wind's going to die down. It's coming straight down there, right? Literally on the beam at the moment, right? Which means that it's coming through that cut and funneling through. Within maybe a mile or so, we'll have relief on that land. I wasn't expecting this. Nah, not that. <laughs> What's our speed? 7.7 .7 knots. down it's getting a little bit uh, nerve-wracking <laughs> so just under bare poles at the moment <sighs> all right we made it we're here in Hayman Island Oh wow, I'm feeling very windswept and salty. That was far more intense than I was expecting for a, a sail in the Whit Sundays to be honest. I thought it would be like a little bit like Thailand where there was basically no wind and we just kind of motored around a little bit. Well, we are uh, tucked in nicely here. We're on a mooring buoy and we have an absolutely stunning vista. Beautiful beach in front of us. 
and apparently some pretty sweet sunsets from here as well. Oh God, how lovely and relaxing after a fairly hectic morning. You look knackered. I am absolutely wrecked. That was a really, not challenging sail, but it was a, it was like a, it was rough. So I think we had, we must have had 25 knocking, well high 20, I think it hit 30 knots. Uh, the anemometer on the boat's, boats uh, up the fritz. So, yeah. um, I think it's probably a masthead issue. Um, I'm not going up there, it's not my boat. So yeah, I think we had 25 plus of knots of wind. Really short chop and six foot of swell, but with a really short swell period. Just a tiring sail. You know, we started low reefs, one, one, one runt reef, two reefs, and I thought, well, actually, we need to put the third reef in because we're hitting 25 knots consistently. And then we just dropped the main and motor the last hour yeah. or two. Yeah, and that's the reward for, for this. But yeah, I look, I kind of, I'm tired. All right, cup of chai tea, pretty excited about this. It was surprisingly cool today. I mean, I know it was very windy, but I was actually quite chilly, so a nice warming cup of tea. It's just the ticket. Nick, what do you want for lunch? Anything. Do you want something with avocado? Because we need to eat this avocado. Sure, just now to go for a walk, and uh, literally, there is no sand, there is just pieces of coral, and we could not walk more than five meters on bare feet. So, Nick went back to get my flip flops, thongs to my fellow Australians, and uh, yeah, so now we can go for a walk. Close your Like sunsets are magical, aren't they? Yeah. I know I sound like some sort of like mushroom infused like wizard at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but this, oh, I look, I know there's, there's a natural beauty in it, just the tonality between the blue and the and the, and the golden. I mean, look at those colours. 